Hello guys, Brad on YouTube, and I have another fragrance review for you today, and this is on uh, Kenzo Pour Ohm. And uh, Frankinator sent me this uh, as part of a little package he sent me. It was a mini, a 3.5 milliliter little box and a little sprayer, 3.5 milliliter. Uh, this came out in 1991, and over at Fragrantica, it got 41 positives, 14 neutrals, and 12 negatives. And it is classified as an aromatic aquatic. And over at Fragrantica, here was the note breakdown. Top notes, mahogany, sage, bergamot, and lemon. Middle notes, nutmeg, carnation, juniper berries, orris fruit, peach, jasmine, caraway, lily of the valley, and rose. And base notes, sandalwood, amber, musk, balsam, fir, oak, moss, vetiver, and cedar. Oh, man, I'm not really sure if I'm getting much of any of that uh, when I smell it. Uh, let me start by just kind of giving you the uh, visual um, that I get from this fragrance. Okay, let's say you're living in Japan and you decide to go on a ship. You're out there in the middle of the ocean on this ship in the Pacific Ocean. And you hit a big wave and you get thrown overboard and you're knocked unconscious. You wake up and you end up on this tropical island, and the tropical island is covered with these luscious palm trees and bamboo. Um, it's just a gorgeous tropical island. But here's the catch. The uh, island is not a natural island. It is a, an evil man-made island, and the bamboo and tr palm trees are made out of rubber and plastic. Um, so, yeah, very sinister, evil island, masterminded by some evil man so yeah that's pretty much what i get from this fragrance very odd take on the aquatic genre it's um very plasticky rubber smelling i don't know how else to describe it i think there was supposed to be some kind of a seaweed note in here um it really doesn't have any um thing to compare it to out there that i know of some people do try to compare it to bogri aqua and uh I guess that's about as close as you're going to come. It's maybe kind of like uh, Bogri Aqua's uh, Japanese half-brother. Um, or if you've ever seen the movie uh, Sixteen Candles, uh, Anthony Michael Hall would be uh, Bogri Aqua, and this would be uh, Long Duck Dong, I guess. So, uh, yeah, very strange, kind of a quirky, um, strange uh, aquatic um, so if you like this kind of things, you might want to check it out. Otherwise, I would say avoid this one. Not really my thing. I give it about a 4 out of 10. Um, if you want to try something from Kenzo, I would say don't start with this one. Uh, because Kenzo does make some very good fragrances. But this, unfortunately, isn't one of their better um, products, in my opinion. Um, I would say start with something like Lou Par Kenzo or Kenzo Boise, uh, if you want to check out a Kenzo product. But like I said, if you uh, if you like uh, strained aquatics, this is something you might want to check out. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I think the uh, the perfumes at Kenzo may have been hitting the sake a little bit hard while when they were uh, working on this one. But uh, not my thing at all. I wanted to work. Uh, like one slightly and I used to have another mini of it and I wore that to work maybe a couple times uh, both times uh, from different sources it kind of had the same vibe so I don't think it's you know a product of you know just a bad sample or something I think that's just the way the, the product smells weird but uh, somebody over base notes actually said that uh, uh, when I did a thread about this fragrance that it smells better if you live near the ocean or the water and if you wear it in the big city, it's going to smell weird. I guess it needs to combine somehow with like the briny ocean breeze or something. Maybe that would help a little bit. Uh, doubtful as far as I'm concerned, but uh, you might want to give that a try as well. So that's my take on Kenza Parham. Not one of my favorite aquatics, but, uh, you know, as you can see from base notes, it has some love and some people really like it. So, you know, you might want to check it out if you're an aquatic buff and you want to try something uh very different so that's my review and i'll talk to you guys later